Hey everybody, welcome back to After Hour Idioms, where we talk about cool idioms that you can use to spice up your English. Let's welcome to the show, Teacher Zach! Alright, good to be back. Good to be back, good to have you back, man. You know, another word that rhymes with back and Zach is tack, which is connected to our first idiom, to be as sharp as a tack. That just means to be extremely clever. Yes. We often use this to describe people that are older but still really clear-headed, right? That's right. I think we know someone that is smart as a tack. Ah, yeah, yeah. For example, our boss, right? The she is around the same age as the Queen of England, but she is still as sharp as a tack. That's right. Yeah. Same for the Queen of England. Yeah, yeah. She might be described as sharp as a tack. That's right. Or, you know, we don't only use this when talking about, like, older people, right? There could also be a situation where someone picks things up really fast. They're sharp as a tack. Like a comedian. Yeah, maybe a comedian. That comedian, man, his jokes are great. He's as sharp as a tack. Wow. Or you've got a new employee, and you teach them something just one time, but they pick it up right away, and you say, Sharp as a tack. Oh, yeah, wow, that, that new employee... Man, they are as sharp as a tack. They pick things up right away. Wow. That explanation, David, it just left me in awe. Ah, to be in awe of someone or something. Thank you very much, Zach. I'm, I, I, I feel so blessed to have you in awe of me. Ah. This, for, this idiom just means to show great admiration or respect for somebody you look up to. That's right. It can be somebody you look up to or something that amazes you. For example, everyone in the meeting was in awe of Janet after she finished her presentation. That's right. Or, you know, after watching that new TV show, The Crown, I was in awe of the Queen of England for all of the amazingly hard decisions she had to make in her life. You know, the people that I feel I'm in awe of are mm. those that are as sharp as a tack. That's right. Like our boss, when she first came to this island, there were almost no English language learning resources available, but she made them available to so many people. I'm really in awe of the work that she's done. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for joining us on uh, for today's episode of After Hour Idioms. We hope that after studying with us, your English will be as sharp as a tack. See you guys later. <laughs>